Welcome to the Step 1 of You Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about osteogenesis imperfecta, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, and Menke's disease. Osteogenesis imperfecta, also known as brittle bone disease, is caused by a genetic defect from an autosomal dominant inheritance of the Col1A1 and Col1A2 genes. This results in a deficiency of type 1 collagen. Type 1 collagen makes up 90% of the bone, so individuals with osteogenesis imperfecta are subject to broken bones much easier than individuals without the disorder. Bones can even be broken just from the process of birth. Since these individuals suffer from broken bones frequently, it can be confused with child abuse. The ossicles in the ear are composed of bone and thus individuals with osteogenesis imperfecta can suffer from conductive hearing loss. The type 1 collagen that normally makes up the dentin in the teeth is deficient and this can cause teeth abnormalities like opalescent teeth that wear easily. This is known as dentinogenesis imperfecta. The connective tissue in the sclera that lacks the type 1 collagen can take on a blue appearance because you can see the corodial veins. Patients with osteogenesis can't bite. Bones get multiple fractures, eyes have blue sclera, teeth have imperfections, and ears have hearing loss. Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is caused by faulty collagen synthesis as well. In the classical type of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, the joints are hypermobile and the skin is hyperextensible. This is caused by a mutation in the type 5 collagen genes, commonly the Col5A1 and the Col5A2 genes. The vascular type of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome causes fragile tissues, like the blood vessels and aorta. These individuals can bruise easier. The muscles and organs are prone to rupture. The mutated gene that causes vascular Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is the Col3A1 gene. This codes for the type 3 collagen. A copper-containing lysyl oxidase is responsible for cross-linking the tropocollagen subunits into the collagen fibril. The Menke's protein is responsible for the uptake of copper. In Menke's disease, the gene ATP7A that usually makes the Menke's protein to uptake copper is defective. The lysol oxidase does not have the copper, making it useless. Tropocollagen cannot be cross-linked to create a collagen fibril. Collagen is deficient. This is an X-linked recessive condition that results in growth retardation, hypotonia, and an increased risk of cerebral aneurysm. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 Review. We'll see you in the next video.